swallowing a capsule or munching a cracker made from pineapple leaf fibers could soon be one way to lose weight. Scientists from NUS have found a way to upcycle pineapple leaves into low-cost fat trappers. Besides the health benefits, this could also help increase the profits of pineapple farmers while reducing agricultural wastage. On this, we are joined by Associate Professor Dong Haimin from the Department of Mechanical Engineering at NUS and Associate Professor Fan Ton Thang from the Department of Surgery at NUS Yong Lulin School of Medicine. I'll, I will ask you this, Professor Dong, first. Uh, what's the inspiration behind this invention? Yes. Why pineapple leaves? Uh, the, uh, my inspiration is to solve environmental problems and to help the farmer to get the better income. So the pineapple fiber I choose because it's abundant, also um, it's cheap, and also it's safe for the human use. All right. Uh, that's for the benefit of farmers, but for the benefit of people who want to lose weight. Now, I'll quote you here, one capsule of these leaves can help absorb the saturated fats from one entire hamburger. How does this work? So we're looking at a great deal of weight loss should these leaves actually be ingested as capsules. Now, there is some functional rubs on the type of fiber. So every, they go going to absorb a lot of the fats uh, from the burgers. So every time, every burger, they got about 25 grams of the fat. And the cap, one game of the capsule, they can uh, absorb 45 grams of the fat. They stick well on, um, uh, on the, the capsule. All right, uh, Professor Farn, let's bring you into here and pick up from what Professor Dong has just said. Now, uh, I read the study. Uh, Fat-coated lumps are then passed out from the digestive system. And that's how, in fact, you can eat fat, but that is not, in fact, absorbed into our body as nutrients. Now, how safe uh, is this method of fat absorption uh, that prevents absorption into the body compared to other weight loss pills on the market? So it came up the idea when I uh, observed uh, Professor Zeng Ming Hai uh, experiment to see how uh, effective the uh, pineapple fiber can absorb the industry oil spill. So I think if you can, you can absorb the oil spill, you can absorb the fat and, um, and the thing like this. So we start experiment to, to show that it's be very efficient. And in terms of safety, this pineapple uh, fiber is very, very safety. So we done individual ex experiment to show you know, it's no toxic to cells. And, uh, and things like this, we have data already, but the, we cannot say too much for now because the pattern uh, filing in progress. But we know for sure, we know one day we will show data to the, to the public. It's a safety to, uh, you know, for consumption. Oh, well, speaking of safety, uh, I take it these fat lumps, uh, these, this coagulated fat is then passed out as waste. Uh, uh, obviously, one worries then about, uh, I suppose, certain laxative effects of uh, substances like these. You talk about safety. What can be put in place so that people do not abuse, uh, I suppose, the, the, the effects of these pineapple leaf fibres? Uh, I think we, uh, one day we should have some recommendation uh, for a consumer how to use this. Uh, you know, the fatty food actually is quite tasty, but we don't want to eat too much, you know, uh, and, uh, and we want to, to, to prevent some fat absorption in, in, the, in the human body. Uh, so uh, we believe that, you know, uh, for the, this kind of products, the pineapple and capsule, you know, you, you still can enjoy the fatty food, but at the same time, you don't have issue or you can don't have a problem of the health or problem when you don't have too much fat, uh, fat absorb, absorbing in, in the, into the body system. You know, because this one can capture the fat very efficiently, as you, as you can see. And it can pass through the, uh, the digestive system uh, so we don't go to the body. Or can and go to the less go to the body system. Oh, and thank you, Beth. That was uh, both. That was the social professors Dong Hai Min and Fan Tun Thong from NUS Yonglin School of Medicine.